We will, with um, Friendly's help again, demonstrate snuckling. We can do this with an empty bottle that is filled with some kind of treat, in this case, her daily kibble. You can also use a bath mat or pet stores and Amazon do sell snuffle mats just for this exercise for dogs. She's already anticipating what we're about to do. So the only time she gets her everyday kibble for a meal three times a day is when she's in her crate. We're conditioning her that good things always happen in her crate. So I will put the bottle in there and it's up to her to, it's a good cognitive reach, uh, it's a good cognitive exercise. So it's up to her to figure out how to get that kibble to bounce out of that bottle. And then that gives me a chance to shut the door without alarming her and run to check the mail, go look in the refrigerator, pour myself a cup of coffee. And then I anticipate her need of needing the door open before she's done with the bottle. Notice she does not run out. I anticipate that need at this stage before she's done with the bottle because I don't want to condition her to separation anxiety or feeling of abandonment. And the bottle that I use there, any sturdy plastic bottle will do. You'll just want to make sure it's washed out and dried real good on the inside. But I use my favorite protein drink. Just make sure, this is very important, you take off that plastic rim around the neck of the bottle and throw it away. It's not a matter of time. It is just a matter of time before they separate that and choke on it if you don't throw it away before you give it to them. Also remove the label for the same reason. And this is only under adult supervision because she could empty that bottle over time and then just shred the bottle and start eating the pieces. That's not what we're trying to do. We're just using the bottle as a cognitive exercise to buy us a little time and to help her learn that the crate is a great fun place to be. Good job, Friendly.